Hello everyone. I know that in a previous video I said I wouldn't be doing any specific character reviews on any of the Disventure Camp cast, and for a long time I thought I was going to hold true to that sentiment. But after the most recent episode of Disventure Camp All-Stars, it became apparent that that wasn't going to be the case. Because Tom is a character in Disventure Camp All-Stars, and after what happened in today's episode... Not today's episode. What happened in episode 12, I feel like there are things that I just have to say about him because, goddamn, there's such an amount of tragedy that has happened to this man. Tom is one of the most tragic and saddest and most uh, sympathetic characters ever to be created in, in all of fiction. Almost. First of all, we have to keep in mind that Tom is just an innocent little cinnamon roll himbo man. He's never done anything wrong, and anything he has done wrong, it's because he's stupid and he means well. So none of the bad stuff he did, it's like, it's bad, but like, there's a good reason for it. So he's like, okay. And Tom has always been this way. He's always been this big stupid dude who doesn't know any better, but he's trying his best. It's not like he had, like actual competencies in things other than being the big dumb guy in season one. Yeah, exactly like this in season one. No, nothing changed. It's like remarkable how similar he is in both seasons. Like the exact same character, basically. Nothing has changed. What are you talking about? Tom's just such a good, wholesome lad. Hasn't done anything wrong, really. He's just been a good guy all the way through. Definitely, definitely did not treat Jake poorly at all. Like, everything he did to Jake, like, kind of justified. Jake's kind of a weirdo. He really didn't need for Tom to communicate with him in those two years. Now, no closure was needed at all. Tom didn't have to give that to him. And, you know, uh, you know, and even if you think so, um, that's he, did Jake deserved, like, a basic confirmation about where he and Tom stood after everything that happened in season one. Uh, Tom's stupid! He did, it was a mistake! He's innocent! He didn't do anything wrong! He got, Miriam was there, and she told him, oh, Tom, you didn't treat Jake very well, and, like, she's just, like, a hater, Tom fucking did doesn't deserve this. He's just a good wholesome cinnamon roll boy. He's he <sighs> All right, let's actually run through this. Tom is bad in All Stars. Like he is really fucking bad and I don't think anyone is actually talking about how royally they fucked him up. To me, he hardly feels like the same person, and that's alarming. Now, full disclosure, this video is unscripted, because initially I was just gonna make it as a joke, but I kind of realized halfway through that I had too much grievances with Tom to not do say this. Because from what I know, and from what I've seen, I fully believe that the majority of the Disventure Camp community does not take Tom seriously. And I don't mean his plot, his plot's dumb and stupid, and I think most of us don't like it. That's pretty well-worn territory by now. I've seen a lot of people infantilize Tom, especially in All-Stars, and worse than that, a lot of people use him as a tool for male fan service. This was funny for like a day, and then it stopped being funny. I like to think I know this community pretty well by now, so I'm guessing if this was Hooters Ashley or Hooters Ellie, people would have a significantly different reaction. I know this because everyone hated Bunny Girl Alley, as they should. And while Bunny Girl Alley has some unsavory connotations that Hooters Tom was not, for the most part, they're both just sexualizing a character. That's not to say that anyone who, like, draws art of Hooters Tom is, like, a sex pervert or anything. That's not what I'm implying. I just think it's gotta stop, because that is quickly becoming this character's legacy, and I don't know if anyone wants that. Now why am I bringing this up? Because despite how overdramatic and not serious the intro to this video was, I think Tom genuinely does have a layer of tragedy to him. Not anything that happens in the show, mind you. Like, everything that bad that happens to him in the show is deserved. Problem is... There's actual tragedy to him, and it comes entirely from the fandom. I don't believe that season one Tom would have let anything that happened with Jake in All-Stars actually come to pass. Season one Tom was not this spineless. He would have said something, he would have cleared the air, he wouldn't have been this irresponsible. Now don't get me wrong, season one Tom wasn't perfect. He fucked up several times, and I fully believe that if he were in this season, 
then yeah no the stuff between the two of them wouldn't have worked out super well either way but fuck me i could have at least taken that tom seriously i can't take this tom seriously and i don't know if any of you can either because goddamn he's just Ugh, so pathetic. And the reason I bring all this up is because there are a lot of people who think that this Tom and this Tom are the same person when they are not. This one could be unaware. He did dumb things sometimes and he wasn't always on the ball. But for the most part, he knew what the fuck he was doing. He was capable. He knew how to talk to people. He wasn't this Tom. This Tom is good at literally one thing, and it's making traps and getting food. I guess just like hunting in general is what he's good at. There's actually a scene that shows this off pretty well in the same episode. Hilariously, Tom isn't even there leaving Aiden and Jake to use the trap that he set up in order to escape the wolf. The point is Tom is crafty, like physically anyway. So... How did he lose this? Let's ignore the fact that Tom really doesn't make sense to be eliminated here because he still has plot with Jake and Aiden that I don't believe can finish properly now. Like, even if there's another episode where he, like, comes back or they interact, it's gonna be a hard thing to cram in there. No, the big thing that I really don't understand about this is how he lost at all. You're telling me the guy who caught all the food for the Cyan team in the pre-merge doesn't know how to double not a stick? Well, I mean, I guess, I, I guess if you look at the sticks here, they seem placed pretty haphazard. They aren't tied. No, no, they're just sticks on a thing. Was this foreshadowing to say that Tom is weak to stick type Pokemon? I really hope not. Cause that'd be dumb. Now this might sound like a nitpick, but I really don't think it is considering this is largely Tom's role in the season. And I wouldn't have nearly as big a problem with this if this wasn't the only thing he has. Now obviously you could say, oh, what about Jake and Aiden? He's like involved in that plot, that's like his thing. I've even said as much in this video that with his elimination, that plot's gonna feel kinda unresolved with him there. I even said in a previous video that Aiden kinda just felt like a third wheel to all the relationship drama between these two. But the more I think about it, the more a very apparent truth became obvious to me. This is not Tom's plot. This is Jake and Aiden's plot. Their connection with each other is significantly stronger than either of their connections with Tom. For the vast majority of the season, Tom just doesn't want anything to do with Jake. It's like he's purposely trying to escape the plot he has with Jake, to just so he doesn't have to talk to him. And when they do talk, it's needlessly melodramatic. Or it's very apparent that Tom is in the wrong and he needs to step up and stop being a little bitch baby. And while I actually do like Tom and Aiden's interactions, I feel like they don't really amount to all that much in the grand scheme of things. 90% of them are about Jake. And the ones that aren't have to do with that weird fucking Tess elimination and Gabby fucking the, that shit. I doubt that one doesn't matter. Not to this video at least. Tom kind of sucked there too though, but uh, I don't want to make it personal. The point is, if this were a group project, Tom is the kid who's not really doing as much as the others. So the one thing he definitively had to himself is that he was the big strong tough guy. He was good in the challenges and he got food for people. That was the main thing he offered. So the fact that he fumbled this tiebreaker so badly is as pathetic as it is absolutely hilarious. I don't know what reaction was intended for this whole scene, but uh, I laughed. I laughed so hard and so loudly that I'm pretty sure I scared my family. Uh, Audrey, babe, if you're in the comments to confirm this to everyone who's watching so they know I'm not lying. And the reason I had that sort of reaction is because for the very first time, I saw the type of character that Tom had become. He's not important. He's not likable. He's not capable. He's not a deep character. Maybe at one point he was, but not anymore. Now, he's this, because as of All Stars... He doesn't have anything else. Tom was a character with the potential to be great, and unfortunately, because of the way people responded to him and what people wanted out of him, he's never ever going to be that. Not in this venture camp anyway. But, you know, maybe he can. <laughs>